If you've kept up with this video series, you've had the opportunity to learn about some of the biggest and most commonly talked about automotive components. From the transmission, to the radiator, to the suspension, you have a good knowledge base on the main parts of your car. But now Toyota Orlando is here to talk about one of the internal parts of your car that sometimes gets overlooked. The axle. Today we're going to give you the lowdown on your car's axle and how you can keep it working at its best. The main purpose of your axle is to get torque from the transmission to your wheels. Think of the axle as a rod in between a pair of wheels. This car part has a lot to endure. The weight of the car, passengers, and cargo, and the forces of braking and accelerating. That being said, axles have to be very strong. There are two types of car axles that you typically see, the drive axle and the dead axle, but for this video, we're going to focus on the drive axle. The drive axle is divided into two parts. The two parts are connected by a multi-ended joint, the constant velocity joint, or more commonly known as the CV joint. The CV joint connects the axles to the engine via the drive shaft. The drive shaft can best be explained as an extension of your car's transmission that's also connected to your engine. So, when the drive shaft is in motion, it causes a chain reaction through the CV joint and allows your wheels to move. The drive of your car determines the location of your drive axles. Regardless of the car, your axles will be located directly between both tires of the vehicle. In addition to being the main reason your wheels can spin, your drive axles absorb all major shocks when you're driving. Without them, your car wouldn't drive and every rough street would cost you a whole lot of money in car repairs. With a smaller automotive part like this, it can be hard to tell when there is a problem. That's why we've picked the brains of our certified technicians to give you a list of signs that your axles need to be looked at. Clicking. If you hear a clicking sound coming from your wheels, this could signify drive axle damage. This can be tricky to hear if you constantly drive with loud music on. So make sure to occasionally turn down the tunes to check on your car. Excessive movement. You can test your drive axle when your vehicle is up on a jack by manually moving the axle up and down. If the axle moves more than about half an inch, you most likely need to replace it. Wheel vibration. If you notice a slight vibration coming from your wheels when driving, you could have a worn drive axle on your hands. Your drive axle may not be visible, but that doesn't mean it's not important. With this kind of internal part, we recommend getting familiar with it so you can stay on top of its maintenance. So make sure to come to Toyota Orlando at the first sign of trouble, and we'll help you avoid costly repairs down the road. We are open seven days a week and are always here for your auto service needs. Call us at 407-298-4500 and schedule your service today.